When you go and see films as a critic, often they'll send you an email afterwards and say, what did you make of it? And someone who did work for the Daily Star sent back saying, yeah, I loved Taken 2, 10 out of 10, James Bond should look out for it. But he wasn't the official reviewer. It never appeared in the Star paper. And that's what, in this instance, the Advertising Standards Agency has said is not acceptable. But there have been many examples Go over on. the years. <laughs> Quickly, uh, there was a Norman Wisdom film. Ill-advisedly, he appeared in a British thriller in 1992. Christopher Tookie in the Daily Mail said, so bad it has to be seen to be believed. Can you guess which yes. bit appeared oh, on the poster? No. Has to be seen on there. And the other famous example, Guy Ritchie's revolver had the famous quote on it, brilliant, Guy Ritchie back to his best, the son. Now the brilliant, that was a quote from the page three girl, Ruth, who was in the film, back to his brilliant best oh. was from an actual advertorial that the film company had paid for. And when you look closely at the poster, it wasn't the son, but the son online in tiny little letters. Oh. Well, I suppose in a way, the, the fact they go to such desperate measures to get the, those right quotes in, or the wrong quotes, but uh, you know, appearing to say positive things shows that they really think it matters. I, I, they, they do think it matters. I think there's so much competition nowadays that, that film companies and, and book companies as well, if, if anyone that's selling something wants to get as many positive reviews as they can, and it looks as if now they'll go to, they'll go to greater lengths to get these reviews, and some of the reviews we're reading might not be all they're cracked up to be. Because you see in, in bookstores as well, you mentioned books, you, you see those little one-liners, don't you, on the, on, the, on the stands where you sort of have a one-line review. And often that's sort of handwritten. It sort of has that feel of someone kind of putting down their thoughts about the book. It gives you that personal... Well, quite, quite often it's a staff review, isn't it? It's, it's, it's the staff pick of the month. And I, and, and I think we've always taken, we've always had reviews that we've taken from our friends and from our colleagues, but what's happening now, of course, is that these reviews are proliferating online. And, and you, can, you can read so many different things. I, I read something the other day that by 2014, 15% of all the reviews that we read online will be fake. They'll just be, they'll just be made up. And Colin, I mean, people go as far as what making up actual film critics that don't even mm, exist. This happened in America. Sony got busted for creating a fake critic, Dave Manning, uh, from a, a paper that did exist, but he didn't. And he gave great reviews to Rob Schneider's The Animal, calling it another winner. And, and that was one of their films. One, of, the, one of their films, proven not. Well, they put that on the poster. He didn't even exist, and they ended up having to do quite a big payout.